Okay, welcome to part two uh, of this video series. Um, in this video, we're going to be creating the rest of this get videos function. Hopefully, anyway. Um, there's a little bit more to it, so let's just sort of get on with it. Um, so, inside this for each loop, what we want to do is process each video. So, this is this, well, now inside the loop, this will contain sort of each of these entry. So it'll contain all of this stuff all the way down to where is it? Where is it? Where is it? All the way down to here. So that whole highlighted bit will be in the video variable inside that loop for each cycle of the loop. Um, and we don't want all of this information, like I said. So we just want the title, the description, and the URL. So the way we're going to get to those um, is by sort of processing it and storing them in a new array. It's a bit shorter and nicer and less useless information. Unwanted information really. Okay, so the title is probably the simplest, so we'll do that first. Um, if I just scroll down here, you see inside the thing is the title here. So that's the actual title of the video. So if we go back to our backend file, wherever it is here, um, we can just define um, the title just literally is video title. So if I just did, for example, echo um, video, whoops, title like so, and then did oh actually we should probably have a new line. Yeah. Okay. So it's adding a new line on the end of there. So hopefully they'll all show up nicely. Reload our page. You see now we get a big list of all my um, videos. So we've already limited that slightly, so it's kind of useful. Um, I actually wanted to upload the first part so I could show you it here, but YouTube is not being very friendly, so I can't do that. Um, so yeah, that's that's the title. That's quite simple. Um, the description is not quite as obvious. Um, if we just change, the, well, if we just delete this and add back the print underscore r of XML and reload this. See the description um, is in this where is it? Here, it's in this content variable um, property, sorry. So for some reason they call description content. So for whatever reason, I'm not sure, but never mind. Um, so we just need to use this as our, descri as our description. So it's fairly simple as well. Um, so yeah, we're just going to be using the content property, just as we did the title property a moment ago. Um, and then for the link to the video, that's e slightly even more complicated. Um, they have this array um, of links. So, um, well, we want the first one, <laughs> so <laughs> that makes it a bit simpler. Um, so we have this array of links. It's called it's the link array, basically. Um, and in there, there is. Um, each element of that array is a another simple XML element object um, and it contains this attributes property with an at symbol um, which sort of complicates things for us slightly because this is an invalid character name for a property in PHP I think anyway yeah you can't start a variable with that so you can't start a property with that um, so there is a way around it that uses the property still but it looks a bit messy so I'm going to be converting this to an array because this is fine as an array key. So what we want out of here is the um, sort of first element in the link array, and then we want the attributes array, and then we want the href because that's the actual link. Um, these other things are just something for feed readers and stuff. So the way we're going to get that is by let's comment this out actually. There we go. The way we're going to get that is by defining a new variable called URL. And that's going to be equal to um, array, like so. This is type casting, um, just like we did with int for MySQL stuff. So what we're what we're going to be casting is an object to an array, and you can do this; it's fine. Basically, it converts all the properties into array elements. So what we're going to be casting is the video variable and the uh, link property, and then the first element in that property because that property contains an array. So now if I just did print underscore r of URL, go that silly warning, hit reload. 
you see we get sort of all of the arrays from um, like all of my videos. So these are all the links to my videos basically. But like I said, we don't want this weird array, we just want the actual text here. So we're going to go into the attributes array and then the href. So what we can do instead, uh, for example down here, is echo URL whoops, attributes oh, done to type and then href. Ignore that and hit reload. Okay, well I haven't put the new lines in so uh, just quickly put, go back and do that, otherwise so new line, ignore that, hit reload again. Okay, now we have a huge list of meaningless URLs. Um, this feature equals YouTube GData is just for YouTube to sort of monitor how um, used their API is. So you can ignore that, it'll, it won't have any effect. So if you just browse to that, it'll just go to the video page. Um, you might have seen it before, like sometimes you have feature equals home page or feature equals channel page or something like that or feature feature equals related if you click on one of the related videos down the right anyway um, so yeah that's the URL so what we want to do is put those three things that I've mentioned so far into a sort of nicer um, array that we're going to return we've already defined it here so videos so what we want to do instead of like outputting it here we want to add something to the videos array which we can do using videos and then two square brackets and what we're going to be adding is an array itself and then that array is going to contain three properties. The first is going to be the title, oops, like so. Um, actually, just thinking about it, we don't need that tab there, do we? So the title is going to be the um, uh, well, it's that property I mentioned a minute ago. So it's video title. The second one is going to be the description, which we can call desk for shortness, and that's going to be video. Uh, oh, okay. Video content, and then the final one is the URL, which is slightly more complicated. Which is going to be um, the URL variable we defined up there. Uh, so URL, and then it's the thing. Basically, it's the thing we output a moment ago. So attributes, attributes, slash, and slash um, href like so. So now after this loop if we had a print underscore whoops print underscore underscore r of videos ignoring all these silly messages hit reload so we get an empty array which is peculiar uh, spelled videos wrong hit reload now we get an array of oh that's not quite right is it Oh yeah, okay, sorry about that. I have forgotten to mention something. Um, we need to um, do something similar to the title and the description because the title is an object like this. It's not actually just text. It contains the type as well. So what we need to do is get sort of the this element of the title object, um, which unfortunately means they need to be both casted to arrays as well. So um, yeah, we're basically just going to copy this Uh, twice, ignoring this message. So this first one should be title, second one should be description, uh, and the same goes here, so title, and this should be content, ignoring that. Just tab these across, I knew there was a reason I tabbed them across, tab the first one across anyway. Um, so what we need here is the um, just the title and then we'll get the zeroth zeroth uh, this key from the array that we create so just title and just content and then down here we will have title zero and desk zero hit save go back to our browser hit reload See now we have just the text and no pointless information. It's also a lot shorter, a lot nicer. So now we have an array of the first 50 videos. Yay! So you see it stops at 49 and it starts at 0, so that's 50. 
um, and you can see you can control this number here. So if I type in like three, and whoops, wrong thing, hit reload. You see we just get three. Um, so what we need to do is um, loop until we have all of them. Um, and we're going to be using a do while loop here. So it might be a little bit new, a little bit complicated. So we're going to set this back to 50. So what we want to do is get the first 50 by setting the start index to 1 and the max results to 50. Now I get the first 50. And we want to set the max, um, we want to set, keep the max results at 50 and set the start index to 51 because I'll get the next 50. Um, unless, of course, there it sort of ends before there are 50. Um, so, say if you have like 60 videos, the second call, even though you've set max results to 50, will only return 10. So, it doesn't matter if you set this too high. Um, we don't need this anymore, so I'll just remove that. So, yeah, what we want to do is use a do while loop. So, what we're going to do. Um, well, the reason we need to do while loop is because, um, um, like, if if like for the first loop, you might have less than fifty, so you want to do the first cycle all the time, which is what a do while loop does. So we need to rearrange this slightly. This definition, which isn't actually necessary, but I just like to have it, should go at the top, and then everything from here downwards, well, excluding the print underscore r, should be inside the do block. So let's just add this do block. Um, so do and then here we need while whoops there we go so do while then the condition goes in here let's just tap this across fix the spaces ignore that message okay so that's that done so what we want to do is increment this by 50 um, until we have all of the videos so it's fairly straightforward really um, and to do that we're going to need a variable here uh, I'm just going to call it start you can call it whatever you like so here where we're defining our variables I'm just going to add a new one which is going to be called start and that's going to be equal to um, 1 by default and then the other thing we need to do is inside this block we need to increment start by 50 so we're just going to do start plus equals 50 what that will do is add 50 onto the start variable so yeah also fairly straightforward um, what is a little bit less straightforward is how we check um, if like if there are more videos available um, it's not too complicated because it's sort of designed to be doable by the YouTube people um, so yeah the way we do it is by checking the link um, because it's this is designed for like feed readers it provides a link to the next page um, and if that link is there it means that there is a next page basically um, it, this link will either be a link to the um, like next page or it'll be a link to the first page if you're on the last page or if there are less than um, if there are less than 50 videos it will just not exist at all so we need to check those three conditions well two conditions really because third one is a bit silly you wouldn't check if it's equal to next and it's not equal to like first that'd be odd so yeah um, so what we need to do is inside the loop because we want to check this for every cycle we want to, we're going to define um, a new variable which I'm just going to call last so that's going to go here so I'm going to say last equals array because it needs to be casted to an array again because it has weird keys so XML link 5. If you probably noticed that this is similar to this except it's a completely different um, like this like here we had it would have been XML entry like 0 link 5 so that'd be like the first mm, in here these links are related to the video whoops these links are related to the video whereas these are related, related to the actual feed okay so um, what we need to do is well if I just print this out um, actually I'll do this in the next part because well okay I could just do it quickly if I just do while false because I'd sort of do it no times and then here I'll just do print underscore r last and reload our page now you see we get this um, output so you see that because rel is equal to next that means that there is a next page so we need to check this if it says next that means we need to keep looping 
Okay, so that's pretty much that, and we'll do that in the next part. So join me for part three, where I'll do that.